what's up with this? Well, all the tools are in, new measurement stuff, so let's get on with the Mark II again. Break time. Every of these projects comes with a challenge. Not good. Okay, I'm going to prepare now to let it sit on its axles. This is the new stuff. Measurements. More new measurements. And look at these bad boys. These are the fronts. Going to build some new centers with the right offset. Which we're preparing out of wood. So this is going to be a cool engineering episode on the bricks. Let's see how far we can go in three days. It's already Wednesday this week. So now on to some engineering stuff on the Mark II. Let's get it uh, up in the air. Let's go to the lathe, get the new hubs done with the right bearings and the new toolings. And then we'll see how far along this will go. We need a lot of lathing, a lot of engineering, measuring, and uh, yeah, I uh, have some stuff in mind on how I want to do it. So let's see where we'll end up, and uh, I'm really confident we'll get it done. Oh, and uh, you got a project? Or do you want to do a project? Hit me up if I can do something for you. Building your dream cars? That's what I like to do, build them non-standard. From lowering to complete rebuilds, engine swaps, restoration stuff, in the tuning scene, non-standard stuff. Let me know if I can help you out. Looking for some more projects. So you can get your show car ready for next season. Okay, let's get this all straightened out. Let's see how far this is out of shape. And let me see how my new toolings will work. Zero point two millimeter off. So this is what we've got. We've got twelve on the gog on this point then I'm going all the way to the other side and I've got completely on the opposite of the zero another 12 then I got two zero points I've got a zero point over there which I marked then I got a zero point over there which I marked as well this means I'm exactly in the dead center. There will be no bubble. This is all just maybe for the from the chroming or from the factory turning, but this is really good. This is probably too precise for uh, automotive, but this will work. Get the micrometer out, get it laid down, and then we're on to the next step, putting some bearings on. Okay, now we're off to the micrometer. Just adjusted it to the factory settings, always starting at the zero point. So I zeroed it out with the tooling. 40.02, all right. I have got a long way to go, but that's good.
every of these projects comes with a challenge. For the test, I remove the hub of this set a long while ago. The brake disc is mounted behind the center hub. So they pressed everything in the hub with the brake disc mounted behind the center and they pressed it in. But the difficulty is now to get it all out. So they're all bolted over there. But as you can see, that's a little bit difficult to reach. We need to press out the center hub and let this stay there. But we can't, it's almost impossible to clamp it over there without pressing it crooked. So I can't remember how I removed the other one. So now you can see the brake disc was mounted over there. Normally it's over there. So now we got all this. This is tuning, ladies and gents. Now pressing out one stud to fit it in the lathe, otherwise it won't fit. Well, and these are just to prepare the hub on this new renovations, on the stuff we need to do. So it is taking a lot of time, as always. But we're getting there. One is almost done. Now we're on to the second one. Getting the final piece of the bearing off and then onto the lathe again for part two and press the bearing on onto the other one. Hey, like and subscribe to the channel if you want to be updated on all the projects and uh, as you can see the crazy stuff we're doing on all these non-standard builds. Oh and then um, look at these frameworks. This means that I'm picked up working on the shop again. The renovations of the office, offices is finally happening again. So put something in the comments. Do you like to see a couple of episodes on how I'm building the shop and the interior of the shop from all steel and kind of crazy techniques I'm doing? Let me know. bad they are there final piece of this one and then they are both ready to put in the hubs Not good. I probably should have seen that one coming, but I didn't. So now I'm having this problem. This is already almost flat with the hub. Difficult to zoom in. Yeah, this is already flat with the hub and 
it should be in a little bit more okay so this is really narrow and can fall into the hub a little bit and in comparison to this this is way bigger so I should probably lay this down a little bit so it would be the same size as over there so it can flow in the hub a little bit more as you can see over here this bearing this is from the MK1 hub is way up higher than in the Mark II hub so hopefully I can press it out but I don't think so I think this is going to be a new bearing hopefully I can press it out but I don't think so this is going to be a new bearing again <laughs> just in like five minutes oh fucking tuning okay maybe I am lucky a little bit it is out again and let's see if we can make this a little smaller but it's difficult because of the studs and I don't want to press them all out and then lay it down fucking hell a lot of work this is going to be so back to the lathe again back to the drawing table and see how we can fix the final pieces so it will fit in there so as you see in the measurements best way forward getting the studs out <laughs> let's hit it I have laid curls everywhere in my neck and in my hair but I think this was the way to go so let's see put the studs back in and get it in the hub and see if this will fit now the fun stuff starts isn't this so cool well these are the endless stuff of adjusting stuff and tuning cars we chromed the bolts that means too much chrome on the thread so we need to clean that up so with our example of wood we can now adjust the proper offset of the center of the, of the new discs these bad boys are going to be the end result well okay now the fun stuff begins I got the disc a little bit on in which direction we're going to go this is just a wooden piece just to get the distance right so I'm going to put the disc on now see the offset put the brake on and then see how much far how far go coming in or outwards so I can design the center so okay first steps first this fitting now we can see over here that the disc is not in the middle it's almost touching this brakes this brake pad and on this brake pad almost my finger can go in so that means that the offset of the center needs to come out some to align it in the middle of the caliper fairly easy so let's do that get some alignment done and then I'll know where we'll end up everything is in but now there are all these small millimeters that I need to tackle so what I showed you was that the brake disc is not in the middle yet but the clipper is hitting the wheel just a tiny bit two things the center is from wood that's three millimeter or maybe four but needs to be at least five or six millimeters from aluminium so that's I'm going to uh, shim that out first so that will be on a good position 
then I can make the brake adapter go a little bit backwards then I can center out the disc and then I know all the correct measurements from all the parts that we're going to need it's like Lego only a little bit more complicated you can hear the rain it's pretty darn bad weather outside I got another tricky tuning job because of the cleaned engine bay the towers are a little bit the edges are a little bit yeah rough with from filler we got aluminium camber plates and they won't fit this way to grind down really really carefully a little bit of the edge so that it's or the original round shape again well what can you say back to the late again so clamp it in real quick you should hold it Okay, so this is fitting. Well, now it is fitting like a glove. No movement anymore. Don't have to over tighten the bolts. Just as you've seen, I just hand tightened them and it's already really... It's already tight really good. So we can work with this well okay that's this side done for the brakes test fitted everything now on to the other side because the best way is always test fit on both sides that's all with car related stuff and this needs to be off anyway because we need to do the top mount as well so top mount on this side and then see if I can copy the brakes on this side already mounted the hubs and yes, I'm really happy on how these are looking. They turned out so good. So hit up the brakes over here and then I'm going to push it downwards on some little studs to see how the wheels will fall into the arches so we can get a real picture of on how this car is going to look. I hope this will fit okay I'm going to prepare now to let it sit on its axles well what do we think about this I think this will fit perfect Man, this is really looking good. I am kind of excited on how this is going to look. The front is really perfect. Everything is fitting. And now I'm going straight on to the back. Going to lay down one brake disc and see if we can make the big brakes fit as well. This fitment is on point. Nothing to do on this anymore because it's going to drive static. 
this will be the perfect fit. And at the rear there is some room to play with. So it will come out 6 to 8 millimeter for the brake discs and then we can fill the rest of the gap with some big ass lips for the rear. It is weekend. Well, a couple steps forward for the brakes, which took a lot of time, and a million steps backward at the rear. I laid down the rear discs, and if you can look, if you look here, these are way too thin to fit the rear brakes. So we ordered the same story as at the front to make from a two-piece disc to make it fit. Calculated everything. I calculated original on the rear brake is 25 millimeters. These are 20, so we got a little bit more playing room. We got these Brembo handbrake calipers. When I ordered the discs, I only measured the calipers the brake calipers, not the handbrake calipers. So now they won't fit in these brakes. That's a problem. And another problem is this is 5 times 130. And look at this. These won't fall over the hubs. So there's going to be a complete different construction to get this fitted. What do you all think? <laughs> it's the... Uh, yeah. It's nice that you make those Porsche wheels fit as tight as possible without an adapter and then fit the brakes, but you can see this gives us a lot of other problems. So let me work this out and uh, thank you for watching again. Like and subscribe to the channel. Get in contact with me for all your projects, restoration, air ride project, or what's the website or web shop on all the stuff we got for sale. We are currently working on the web store to get that all finished and working good. We finally got a good hosting and the website's fast now. Keep checking the website for updates and uh, we're going to fill it quickly with classic parts, second hand parts and all new parts. A lot of air ride stuff we can buy in the web store. And Get in contact with me if you want your project done. We got some room left for next year. Please get in contact. See you in the next episode.